What's going on guys, happy now back, and welcome to Clash Royale Mythbusters. Yeah, we're back with some good old myths. Like always, make sure to comment down below if you have any of your own myths. You can drop them down below or you can join my Discord. We just created a channel called Clash Royale Mythbusters that you can drop your myths and just, yeah, go wild. Links are gonna be down below. With that being said though, there is a hidden gift card for iTunes and Google Play. Whoever finds it first keeps it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Myth. If the fisherman hooks the Mega Knight at the exact time when the Mega Knight is jumping, the Mega Knight will not jump and give jump damage, but will give normal splash damage to the fisherman. Wow, that was confusing to read. Myth confirmed. This is really random, but yes, it's god darn true. And luckily, Sema does... <sighs> Semadar. Well, I, I kinda typed wrong in the script here. Anyways, he provided his own gameplay to prove the myth cause <laughs> I didn't want to do it myself. It looks too complicated. And yes, is exactly what he said. When the fisherman hooks the Mega Knight while it's jumping, it won't do any jump damage it just jumps next to the fisherman like, yo, thought it'd be easier if I just jump over here to punch you, you know? That fisherman was pretty lucky to be alive. Myth. If you play your intro with OJ's and Clash with Ash's intro all at once, the world will explode. <laughs> Myth. When the balloon hits a building or a tower, it drops a leaf. Myth busted. I got this one sent to me a couple times and I was pretty confused because I don't remember any balloon dropping any leaf. So I checked a regular balloon, star level 1, star level 2, and star level 3, and no leaves. The green stuff you are seeing right there is not leaves. In fact, that's actually grass with a bit of dirt under it. It's the effect of a bomb hitting a grass surface. But Havoc, why does it still show in arenas with no grass? Well, just because it can. That's really it. There's no other answer. In order for this not to happen in arenas without grass, Supercell will need to make an entire new animation for when it's dropped on, let's say, concrete or wood. It's just not that important enough to do so. Most people don't even notice it in the first place. Myth. Click any two cards at the same time and their hit points will go crazy. Myth confirmed. Small but cool easter egg, you know? I didn't know what he meant at first, but then it just sorta happened by accident. And yeah, this card started to spaz out and go crazy. And some of them happens with like the entire stats and some of them only happen with the hit points. Well, that doesn't really matter, but yeah. The game kind of just makes the uh, info spaz out due to the game not knowing what to do when two cards are pressurized to show stats. Myth. When connected to a tower, a Dark Goblin always gets two hits, even if he has one HP, no matter what. Myth busted. I thought this was real. I was just about to say, myth confirmed, without even trying it. But as always, I have to try every myth. And I have concluded that Bush did 9-11. Not only that, but I deployed a Dark Goblin and then zapped it so the tower can one-shot it and the Dark Goblin only got one hit on the tower. So yeah, that's not true even though I thought it was. Myth. Firecracker can push herself out of a tornado. Myth busted. 
Since the firecracker can push herself and switch lanes and do whatever the heck she wants, you would think she can push herself out of a tornado as well. But unfortunately, no, she can't. When she's in a tornado, she'll just shoot and stay in her place. It's kind of odd to see because you would usually expect her to be pushed back after every shot. But in this case, it doesn't happen. Myth. When you get a legendary chest, it won't show the arena. Myth confirmed. This one is no secret, but it appears that the legendary chest is the only chest in the game that doesn't show which arena it came from. Kind of weird, I don't really know why. It may not even have a reason for it. It's just because maybe they didn't want to add an arena to it. But yeah, every time you get a legendary chest, it won't have an arena written on it. Myth. If you position one Mega Knight on one side of the river and another Mega Knight on the other side, they will jump at the same time and land on the other side, thus, making them jump forever. Myth. <laughs> when trying this, sorry, I just love saying myth. Anyways, when trying this, we tried it from different locations of each side of the river, and every try had similar results. They do jump at each other over and over, but eventually they go off center and just walk around, or they get too close to each other and just start attacking each other from across the river. But the myth stated that they keep jumping forever. That doesn't happen, or at least not anymore. Myth. If you close the game while unlocking a chest, it will display the cards twice when you get back on. Confirmed. Yes, closing the game does reset a chest. So if you open a chest, see the first two cards, and it closes the game completely, when you log on, it'll start over. I don't know why this is important, but it is a myth, and I tried it, and it's a myth confirmed. Myth. Using really low level cards on 2v2 will give you lower level king towers. Busted. I thought there was some truth to this, so I put it to the test. One match, me and my fiance had our lowest cards possible, and the other, we had our highest cards. Both matches ended up being a level 11 double king tower. It seems like the only thing that influences the level of both players is the combined level divided into two. Me, a level 13, playing with my fiance, a level 10 would be 23 combined. Divide that into 2 and you get 11.5. Obviously there is no .5 in player levels, so it gets converted over to a level 11 king tower. This will always work by the way. If you're both level 13, add those two together, it's 26. Divide it into 2, it's, well, 13. So the math doesn't lie. So guys, I think that should be it. For a myth, wait, hold on, what episode, what, what get, I don't even know anymore. Clash Royale Mythbusters Episode 5. Anyways, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys want to go ahead and comment your own myths to keep this series going, yes, your comments really do help out a ton, because you guys comment myths, I test them out, and they end up on a video. All you gotta do is comment them down below, and trust me, I look at my comments, or you can go ahead and do it on Twitter, you can, I don't really, anywhere I can see it. The second option would be in Discord. If you click the link down below, join my Discord. There'll be a channel called Clash Royale Mythbusters, and there's one for Brawl Stars as well. I'm not really using the Brawl Stars one heavily yet, but if you guys have any myths for both games, go ahead and leave them down there. So anyways, with that being said, that should be it for today's video. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, Thanks for watching.
Have a gaming out. Peace.